Today we're gonna to cover LinkedIn ads basic terms. So this is part of our basic series and a lot of times we start with assumptions that people just know some of the basic things we're talking about. So I wanna cover those basics and make sure you start with a good foundation. So I am going to go over these terms. So the first one is, and actually what I'm gonna do is I have a dashboard here that has a lot of the normal terms that everyone is talking about. And these are usually some of the basic ones for confusion. So the first one is going to be cold ads. What does cold ads mean? You're talking about cold ads and retargeting. So I, ha I ran into this the other day where someone, I, I was talking about cold ads and they there was a disconnect. They weren't quite sure what I was talking about because they weren't from a marketing background and I just assumed. So anyway, cold ads are what we call ads that are going to a cold audience, which means they have never heard of us, never seen us. Uh, so if you play the game, you know, hot and cold, where you start really far and you're cold and then you get closer, you're warmer. Cold ads are when they start the furthest away from you as possible. They've never heard of you. They've never been to your website. You're placing an ad in front of someone for the first time. That's their first exposure. And we call that a cold ad or an ad to a cold audience. So the two main layers of any ads, but we're talking specifically LinkedIn, is you have the cold ads that's meant to get in front of someone who's never heard you. And then once they interact with that ad and have visited your website, they get to know you a little more, have taken some other actions that show interest. Now the next layer of ads become warmer ads or retargeting ads. You're retargeting people that have already been exposed and interacted with your cold ads. So that's the first term is cold and retargeting. Retargeting is putting ads in front of people that have taken some sort of action before you're retargeting them. Initially on the cold layer, you're targeting someone. And then once they've taken action and they're part of one of your buckets, you retarget them. And you'll have different retargeting buckets, which is you know like 30 day site visitors. And by site, I mean website, 90 day website visitors, 180 day website visitors. Um, the next term that I'm gonna go over is conversions. So what do conversions mean? And conversions can mean whatever someone wants them to mean, uh, but basically it's the a goal completion. And so each ad account inside of LinkedIn will set their, their own definition of conversions. So when you go into conversion tracking, you'll have things set up. So for most companies, a conversion might be a form fill on the website. So when you go to most websites and there's a contact us form and you fill it out, leave your information and they you'll hit like a thank you page, that would be what a lot of companies track as a conversion. You can also track booked calls as a conversion and you can also track free trial signups or paid signups as conversions. Uh, so it's basically just a goal post or a goal point, a goal that you set that you can track, that you can measure, you know, this is how much we're spending and, and the conversions we're getting. So what's the difference between a conversion then and a lead? Well, in the context of LinkedIn ads, a lead is specifically someone who fills out a lead gen form. So a lead gen form is a type of LinkedIn ad where if you're going through your feed. I mean, the chance that I'll just randomly find one here is probably slim. And no, I didn't just magically find this. I just paused the video and went and found one. So here is a lead gen form where it is an ad. It shows up in your feed and it has a call to action of either download now, subscribe or sign up. And when you click it, a form pops up. So it doesn't kick you outside of LinkedIn into like a website or landing page. It's a form that seeks to capture information inside of LinkedIn. You hit submit, it sends you to a thank you note and they'll email you whatever you know that, that was. So that's a lead. A lead is someone that's captured inside of a lead gen form inside of LinkedIn. Whereas a conversion is something that happens usually outside of LinkedIn on your website, but that you can actually track um, through conversion tracking here lead gen form opens. Okay. So here's some other terms here that we're going to go over. So cost per conversion would just be how much per, how much money is spent for every one conversion that happens. Impressions is every time an ad shows up on someone's feed. So the, the, how many people were exposed to that ad? And there's a difference between reach 
and impressions. So impressions is, yeah, the number of people that were shown your ad, whereas reach is the estimated number of unique member accounts who exposed your ads. So you might have, so you see here, we have 32,000 unique people who were shown our ads with 186,000 impressions. That means that a lot of these people were actually shown ads more than once. And you can uh, see the difference by where is frequency. So frequency, the average number of, uh, they have a long definition, but it's basically the number of ads that each unique person was shown. So that kind of makes sense if you combine those. You have 32,000 unique people who are shown ads. They were shown an average of five to six ads per unique person, which resulted in about 186,000 impressions. From that, we had 930 clicks. Clicks means they saw the ad and actually clicked and interacted with it. So clicks, you could probably guess um, the average CTR. Uh, so CTR, or actually, okay, we'll go CTR, but then we should have probably done CBC first. CTR is click-through rate. And so it's just a formula of how many people were shown the ad versus actually clicked it. So for instance, if you showed the ad to 50 people, there was, or you know, 100 impressions, but 50 clicked it, your click-through rate would be 0.5, would be 50%. Um, or I guess if this is, this is 0.5%, so it would be, it would be 50% if that was your click-through rate. But normally a click-through rate is like 0.4%. It's a very low percentage of people that are shown the ad that actually interact with it. And CPC is cost per click. So how many people are the price per click that you pay? And basically it's just how much money you put into that campaign divided by how many, how many people actually clicked it and you get a cost per click. Um, and then impressions to click is the click through rate. Cost per lead is same or very similar to cost per conversion. It's just the amount of money that was put into that campaign divided by how many leads you got is the cost per lead. CPM is another common term. It's cost per million. Um, so it's the, the total spent on your ads divided by a thousand impressions. So it's basically what's the cost per a thousand people to see my ads. Um, and so if you're going for like brand awareness or exposure, or an impression share, this is CPM is something you'd be interested in looking at. Uh, clicks to landing page. So this is outside of LinkedIn, clicks to an actual website that you have the LinkedIn insights tag on. And the insights, insights tag is like the Facebook pixel. It's just a line of code that goes in your website that allows uh, your website or allows LinkedIn to track the traffic that goes to your website. So number of landing page clicks, clicks to LinkedIn page. So these are people that actually visited your LinkedIn company page. Um, and that's good to see because that's part of the buying journey. A lot of times they'll see your ad, they'll actually go to your company page and then they'll click into your website or they'll go to Google and search for your website. Follows people that actually follow your company page as a result of the ads. And then uh, these are all social interactions. So reactions uh, is just positive reactions. I think those are just likes. Comments, social actions. This includes reactions, comments, shares, and follow clicks. So I guess it just combines them all, um, total engagement and engagement rate. So, and this would be the amount of social actions. It's like di impressions divided by the number of social actions or total engagement to get the engagement rate. So those are the main numbers. The, the ones that most people use, just to recap, would be CPC, cost per click. CTR is the click-through rate and then conversions, leads, cost per conversion. Those are the, the ones that usually everyone cares about and CPM, cost per 1,000 impressions. And that is the basics of LinkedIn terms.